Hey guys, and welcome to phase three. This is the third part of the conversation that me and Mark had about my nine month journey. So again, I'm still plant-based. I'm trying to gain weight and muscle and trying to stay as healthy as possible as I do it. So this conversation just goes in a little more depth into why we're doing what we're doing in phase three. Phase two video will be posted about here somewhere and phase one as well. So if you haven't watched them, go back and watch them. Then come into this one and you'll have a better understanding of why we're doing what we're doing and what we're talking about. So I hope you enjoy the conversation. If you do, please feel free to like it, to share it, to subscribe, hit the wee bell so that you're definitely notified. And if you have any questions about plant-based eating, plant-based weight gain, about being in the gym, anything like that, please feel free to contact me. So have an amazing day, whatever you get up to, and I will speak to you again soon. This video is going to be about the phase three of my training program. So what was phase three based on? Phase, phase three was a continuation of a strength program. Um, but it was taking what we learned in phase two, which was that three days a week of strength was slightly too much at that stage in, in volume. So again, that was about six, 68 weeks ended, something like that, I can't fully remember, but because yep. again, we, we, we talked about this in the last one, that we have so much contact between each other that he knew that I was starting to fatigue, and that's whenever we decided to make the change. You weren't feeling fresh, ah. which you should have been. So then um, had a short break to get a bit of rest, <clears throat> let the central nervous system heal up, recover, and then modif a slight modification to the program. It was a very similar program overall. Uh, it was pure strength, but it was only two days a week. And I lowered the overall volume of each session. So instead of the, again, we talked about this in the last one, the proper old school five by five, we moved to a, a different variation of a five by five, which only had you doing one top step. Mm -hmm. So this phase then uh, I also added in the pre previous phase, the, the, the cardio, or whatever you want to call it, was intense conditioning, high intensity conditioning. So in this one, lifted that out slightly. Yeah. And focused more on uh, strength endurance. Yeah, so I enjoyed this one because of, I think the strength endurance, because it was so, it was different from everything we had done. And then it was just, everything for me went, just yeah. kept building, but built, very fast yeah. really in this phase this one seemed to be just seemed to hit that right that right mm. spot for you personally yeah in terms of volume and frequency and exercises and everything seemed by to this, just fall into place by this phase too i had been still increasing calories yes the whole time so that's important to point out that i didn't get to a certain level of food and anything like that and we'll talk about this in the next phase but i refused to count calories or anything like that so i didn't really know what what i was on but i just knew i was trying to eat more each time which we later discovered was a bad idea but yeah apparently we later discovered that, that was a bad idea I we're a team in this this I is yes it was a bad idea from the start you don't want to do any guesswork yeah in any, anything if you're if you have any real goals you don't want to do guesswork you want to know you know an exact you know if you go into the gym you want to know you're lifting 60 kilograms you don't want to Hope for the best. Hope for the best. It could be 30. Yeah. Sure, it's near enough. 60? No. Uh, it doesn't work it, that way. Is it 60 or not? So, yeah. It's a very, that's that's a common thing with people with calories. People get, get carried away and, and, you know, oh, I don't want to count calories. Or they think they're eating way more than they They completely are. underestimate. But it's one of the hardest eating. things is to eat the calories. I think, like. It is the hardest thing. It is the hardest thing. Like, a lot of people will say, and. I eat so much. Uh, you know, you know, I eat so much, and then they've never seen me eat, or counted their own eating. In terms or, of, you know, they, they think eat. they think, and then they actually see me eat, say a thousand calories. I couldn't as a snack. I couldn't eat that. I could never eat that, and I'll eat again an hour later or two hours later. So yeah, that that this one was really good. Everything came together because of the the calories were were coming around. Um, you were understanding that they, you have to actually really get the food down you, you know, to, mm -hmm. to gain size and strength. You have to get the food down you. Um, <clears throat> and the volume, like I say, the volume frequency, everything fell into place with the standard lifts, 
and then that addition of the strength endurance you seem to enjoy that uh, more than the, the harder sort of conditioning and then anyone would enjoy that anyway. more than the harder conditioning and the only wee thing then that added was arm curls we added arm curls for these on both days they threw some arms in for the chicks for the chicks curls for the girls. For the girls. Um, and then the other component was, that was your two days a week. And then, and if you watch the previous video, you'll, you'll hear me talking about conditioning. So I took that out here. Mm. Took out high intensity conditioning. Which is good. I enjoyed it, but. Okay, you, you, you want to, you can, you want to have a, a wide range of things going on. So in the last one, I talked about endurance and stuff. So in this one, even though it was a strength routine and that a better a better complement to strength routine is high intensity. I've put in, in this one pure endurance, so low intensity. Just, just continuous effort is what I would call it. Yeah. So I just jumped on a bike for 30 minutes twice a week. And Separately. I, two different times. So what I did was Monday was the first workout, then then I rested. Monday was the squatting, wasn't it? Yeah. So I rested then, and then on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Wednesday was the other heavy day, and then Thursday and Friday were the bike. And it's so low intense that I would, like Shane's gym's got a big massive TV in it. You'll see it in other videos that we do. So I just set up and watched something on TV that most of the time was something you told me to watch. Uh, so again, when I was doing the training, I would do one of two things. One was... Because it was martial art based was the reason all this was happening. I would have watched fights that he told me to watch. And then I would mimic. Just I would pretend I was one of them and I'd move. So I'm not just cycling but doing that. Or like Westside Barbells was one of the ones that yeah. we watched. So I would just stick it on and do my 20 minutes. And it took me obviously a few days to watch it. But that was the way I did it. So it wasn't super intense. It was just... Not intense. It shouldn't be intense at all. Your base building for your endurance again... Don't get the wrong idea if you watch the other video where this guy doesn't believe in endurance training. I've done a lot of endurance stuff and I can train, I can program endurance material in. But um, it's just, this is pure what I call base building. So I always, with, with conditioning, any sort of condition, aerobic conditioning, uh, high intensity stuff, it's all for me based off your heart rate. So for this one, your heart rate would be, I would it would be wanting something like Liam to stay under 120 mm -hmm. beats per minute. And that's easy to test it yourself, just with your fingertips here, with your watch as you're doing it. If you don't have a if you don't have a heart rate monitor, you can just feel your feel your pulse here on your neck, time it for ten seconds, then multiply by six. So then the if we go back to the actual workouts then, so they were the the, the bike but which I like again at the start I didn't want to do I did not want to do biking. Didn't like biking. Continuous effort, thirty minutes continuous efforts. People are so boring, I don't want to do this. Just do it. I First of all, you just do it, and then after a while, just you like enjoy. It. I like. I was like, oh, we ha like. I love going to the gym. So again, I just thought, well, it's just another wee half hour. Component. It's another wee thing to learn. Um, how to how to keep your mind occupied on something that is it is boring. I'm not don't get me wrong. It is boring. That's why TV is helpful. TV is like a good job. Podcasts. I would listen to wee podcasts. podcasts good it. job. The music, so the listen to music. Whatever. So the the strength, but for me was good because the numbers just. Like you said, it sort of had like the Goldilocks zone for this. It just seemed to just yeah. everything fell into place. So, yeah, like the one of the endurance bits, the hardest endurance one was the ball carry. I so the the, the 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 actual endurance during the workout, the the stuff during the workout, the the slight modification from high intensity conditioning was to make it strength endurance. Which when you if you try it, you'll be like, this is just as hard as that high intensity stuff that he was talking about. There is yeah. a slight difference. Because it should be there should be a strength component to it, whereas the high intensity stuff you don't have to have a strength component. It can be, but you don't have to have it. Yeah. Whereas the strength endurance has to be. So talk about the farmer's walk, just for example. So the farmer's walk. Whenever about I don't know, maybe six or eight years ago or something, I did three months of pure strength training on my own. <laughs> like it was designed, and I did my own, and I focused on all the stuff. I didn't do any squatting because. Squatting's hard work. Right? I didn't have to. No one was telling me to do it, so I was like, "Don't need to do that. Be fine." But one of the things was deadlift, and and my max ever deadlift was a hundred and fifteen kilo, up 
let go, dropped it down. Probably if it had been video on this. Terrible form. Probably would have been brutal. Like, I should be honest. It would, uh, it would have been the bar. bad. <laughs> so the final walk was you carried weight across the gym. The gym is 10 meters. So we measured the gym. It was 10 meters. And by the end of that phase, I was carrying 140 kilos for 10 meters. But bear in mind, like, I couldn't... I remember even being being somewhere a few months before we started with Mark and someone having a hundred kilo on a bar and I couldn't even lift that. No. And so the fact that I could just get that casually deadlift it and then walk. Yeah, and walk I didn't do the wiggle walk, I I just walked. Mm-hmm. Um so for me that was one of the biggest uh shows of the fact that if you actually do this right, how much strength you can gain. It is magic, it's, it's pure like, magic. Like we, this is our, our running joke that everything's just magic because people think it is, but it's magic just combined with programming, consistency, consistent, hard work, I all of this. Adding weight to the bar. If you take out all that, it's just like, proper form. You think, man, like I would text Mark pretty much after every workout that that I lifted, like the day I lifted the one forty and carried it, I was like, here, just like magic. This gravity like, was lowered just, in the room, and I did it, and, and then it, the weight just lifted itself. So that was good because that was pure, for me, that was just pure strength and then control in the strength. Yeah. So I like that. The other one was the ball carry. Aye. So the other day of the strength, the strength endurance was, that's one that I've I've used for years and years and years. And it's, it's what I would call an awkward carry. So it doesn't have to be in this example because it's uh, XP5, Shane Mullins, Jim here in Oma. He has the kit for it, mm-hmm. perfect stuff for it, really. So what we used was a, a 30 kilogram medicine ball, which is, it's a big, it's trying to, it's trying to get it, hold. get it, trying to get it up, but hold, like, hold. It, um, yeah. And then it was, it was five minutes. You just like, when he, for, when he wrote it and it said, carry the thing for five minutes, I was like, a break. This is a break. This is easy. I was like, this is a break. I get to just walk. It's going to be easy. And then I was like, Sir, walking. 30 kilos is nothing. It's nothing, man. You could do it for 10 minutes, I'd say. <laughs> That's what I would have told you. <laughs> <you'd> asked. <laughs> but it would have been about a minute and a half in on the first day. Then you regret your life. You can't breathe. No. Nah. You, you, your arms you don't tired, know how to hold it form. anymore. You're... Everything's terrible. Don't despair, even know, don't, even, don't even know how to walk. Despair comes over you then. And I'm quite good at my controlled breathing. It's one of the things I love about the gym is putting yourself in a high state of stress and then bringing yourself down so it fits in real life. I was, <laughs> and then trying to work out how to ch- <laughs> how to change my hands. <laughs> if you could have seen me, it like, looked like it was terrible, but yeah. it. But you did it. You just. You just carried it. You found a way to, like, a, the first day, a minute and a half, I was like, this is not going to happen. I'm not going to do this. Yeah. And then, like, you're thinking, you don't. this is stupid. You, everyone will get to the point doing something like, like, in the conditioning, I used to think it every time we did it. No, this is stupid. Yeah. I'll finish it. I'm never doing this again after no. this. Why I started, would you do it again? so I'll finish. Why would you but do it But this again? is stupid. So the, the carry, but, but, like, how it felt in your back. Was everything so uh, <clears throat> your your strength endurance should always tax your supporting muscles. Mm-hmm. That's that's the thing about it. So it should always tax those supporting. So that's what you're talking about there. The 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 actual muscles that hold you up. You your your bypassing the, uh, your arms. You're bypassing everything, and it's your hips, your core, which is not a word I like to use for stuff, but your core. Your back muscles, everything will start to go because it's them that are. That's all that's left. This, this is going to pop eventually after four and a half minutes, and it's that 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 deep deep muscle that isn't deep deep burn deep. Is it deep, deep burn? So it's burn. deep burn that you don't see, but that will carry over to your deadlift. We've talked about that. Your squat, your overhead press massively. That I doing that cal- doing this cal- cal- your whole. It's, it's, and f- anybody who's an athlete, that's the type of stuff they want to be doing. I'm not a fan of functional training. Um, 
but certainly if I was working with an athlete, that's the, 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 that would be in it at some point. And for the mental, like a lot of people overlook the mental, but five minutes, try it's it, tight, get something like, that's ridiculous and carry it for five show. minutes. You're saying with Shane's, Shane's Gem XP5, he has stuff designed for it. Mm. For me, I've done these things for years and I used to use a homemade sandbag. Which is brutal. Which there's, is there's no st- At least the it ball is flop, stable. It used to flop over here and then you, I'd, be, I'd be going for a time and I'd be sort of squatting down to here going, eh, eh, and then you try and throw it back onto your shoulder and hit you in the face. I think so, it, that, that's a good time to point out. We talked about this last day. Most of this stuff is not Instagram worthy. You don't look... Like an Instagram model no, you wouldn't when you're no. you look that. bad, you look bad. You look terrible, but then you come out a tank, so Yeah, yeah. You, then you'll be so strong you can do a stupid Instagram video that you you've set up to make you look good. Not saying obviously people are doing that. But hypothetically, if you hypothetically. Wanted. One of the things I think is important is for in any training is I write about this in my book as well, is use your imagination to try to keep yourself engaged. So we talked about this in the very first video. The way I kept myself engaged with carrying the weighted the ball was I just remembered my rib breaking and how he did it and thought, that's what I'm doing to this. Why do we have to bring this up again? I think we it's important. To bring this back I think it's again. important. This is a I used something. If someone watches this individually and doesn't watch <laughs> the other ones, okay, from a context perspective. He looks we bad. were training in, in <laughs> MMA and an accident happened where Liam's ribs were injured. Broken? Not, not through any intent on my part. Accidentally. So what he's saying, what he's saying, he was imagining trying to break my ribs. No, that's not what I that's, said. It was what he said. I didn't imagine. Back. I, was Ima- <laughs> I wasn't imagining breaking his rib. I was thinking. You couldn't? <laughs> basically, what happened. <laughs> What happened was, he broke my rib without really trying. Like, you weren't trying to break my rib. No. And yet, having the strength in the position. What was the move again? Just a gut wrench, basically. I got a body, a body lock here. A body lock. With a uh, butterfly, a palm to palm. So. Up here with a, with a sandbag or a. Or a, or a uh, lame. Uh, or a lame. Or a lame. Or a guy's ribs. <laughs> or a medicine ball, whatever it is. And you're, you're not just statically holding it, you're actually. Cru- yeah, crushing the bag or crushing the. So that's why I brought it up because whenever I was doing it, bad. Yeah, but yeah, everything else makes you look good. I know your biceps. Um. Oh! So, so he, the fact that he was able to to do that, when I'm a tank, that he without really trying. So whenever I was lifting that, it's for two reasons. One, you're not just carrying it. Like, we were fully active, so the way yeah. I kept engaged was I was thinking, if he can break my rib without even trying, that's the strength I want. I don't want strength where I can arm curl a million kilos. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd like, be pretty cool. That'd be like, pretty good. Like, that would be but awesome. I don't care about that. I care about, we talked about this loads. I care about it crossing over to the martial art. That's what I ah. care about. Ah. So the fact that I was able to squeeze it and, and keep that pressure on, Yeah. For a minute and a half the first day, but week five, remember I was saying to you, I might get a new ball. This is That's the problem. That's the only component with with the stuff like that where the set balls and things become an issue because mm. they're set weight. So a sandbag maybe is slightly better because you can add uh, stuff to it. Because remember, progression is the key in everything. Yeah. So if it becomes easy, I don't want no easy. It didn't become it, easy. It no didn't become easy. It just became easier. not as hard. Yeah. So but it, you it, want it easy. You want to progress all the time. But when we think about it, it worked out well because when the week that I said, I think I should wear my vest, weighted vest or something. Make it heavier. Right? Was the week we were, you decided to change it anyway. So yeah. that sort of worked out perfectly. Which sort of rounds us off on this one. That takes us to the end of phase three. So that's our end of phase three. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to um, send us a message or whatever. I will put links to the other videos below. So if you want to see them, there'll be links to the audio of it as well so that you can listen to it once you're driving around. Um, Yeah, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again. Thank you.